Hello, it's Lainey. I am back finally. It's actually been two weeks and two days since my surgery, but I'm gonna still separate first week and second week because I just, I don't want it to be so long that you're not gonna watch this video because I get bored watching a video that's super long. So this is week one after brostrum surgery. That's what it's called. I did ask. So I did get to talk to the doctor and he said that one of my peroneal tendons was flat. Like your tendon is supposed to be round, like a two. And mine was like opened and flat. And my muscle also went down way too far, so he had to shave off some of the muscle. He suspects that uh, muscle growth for overcompensation because it wasn't working because it was flat, but can't prove that. That's just what he assumes happened. And then also, he only tightened one ligament. I thought it was more than that, but it was only one, the one right next to that tendon, basically. And he said that would stabilize my ankle so yeah I'm not gonna get too into that because I'm not a doctor and I don't want people to come at me in the comments for not knowing what I'm talking about I'm also sitting in a very awkward position because I have my leg up like over here so yeah anyways and ignore this background this isn't my curtains don't block out light so I put a blanket in front of it like months ago never moved it so we're just gonna deal with that I did a day-to-day, -day, like, what happened at the end of the day. I would do a little video. I'll put those in now. Hey, everybody. My surgery was this morning. It's, like, four-something. I was really loopy for a long time. Anesthesia is no joke. Anyways, I'm in my bed right now. Ugh. This is what it's looking like. Getting to my bed from the couch was an adventure. I have a knee scooter and crutches, but like anytime my foot is below me, it starts hurting. So getting up is painful. I suggest if you ever do this, so get a knee scooter. It hurts way less than it crutches. Today is the second day. My surgery was yesterday. I'm in a lot more pain today than I was yesterday. Uh, so now that I'm less um, loopy, more aware of what's going on, uh, my procedure was a brostrum procedure, I think is what it's called. My ligament um, they tightened my ligaments because I had really bad instability. He said that, like, my whole entire ankle was probably shifting. And so he tightened up all my ligaments and the tendon that I thought was messed up, he said it was flat. So he had to, like, put something around it, make it round again. And he had to get out a bunch of scar tissue and debris. I think he put something around my tendon. I, I don't really know. I didn't get to talk to him after. My parents did, and they're really bad at asking questions, apparently. Just kidding. They didn't know. I have no idea what my scar looks like. Mm, like, at all. No clue. Uh, I got a nerve block and anesthesia yesterday. And the side of my knee, I still can't feel that. Like, my upper calf above my cast I can feel pain in my foot so I'm guessing I have some feeling in my foot but my toes are still pretty numb also but yesterday it was numb like all the way to the top of my thigh which is really nice because it didn't hurt near as much but today it hurts a lot worse still sticking by the knee scooter is a lifesaver thing highly suggest and, yeah, I didn't start taking my pain medicine until 9.40 yesterday because my nerve block was working still. Yeah, 
So, that's my update so far. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. I got my ice packs. They keep falling off and melting, so... I can't really do anything by myself. I've gotten up and gone to the bathroom a few times, and that's about all that I can do. But, you know, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I would say that it doesn't necessarily hurt any worse on the medicine than it did when I first hurt my leg and didn't have any pain medicine. I feel like the pain level is about the same, so I'm kind of expecting it to get it worse from here. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do when I run out of pain medicine. That's going to be rough, but you know. We're going to get through this. Tomorrow's going to be better. So. Okay, I'm not turning on the light, and I'm not turning my show off. Let's just say day three has been rough. It's been tough. It's been awful. Uh, not discouraging anybody. It was probably a lot of my own doing. Probably shouldn't have gotten up so many times. and Lots of muscle spasms. Lots of pain. I tried to take a shower. Didn't even get that far. I couldn't even get to the bathroom. So I still haven't showered. But, you know, my pain medicine just kicked in, so I can say confidently at midnight, I'm feeling okay. So, hopefully today will be better, and this will be the worst day that I'll have. But we'll see how it goes. Hello. It's day number four. My cat just opened the door, sorry. Today is a better day. I'm not in as much pain as I was yesterday, which is a good thing. Doesn't mean that there wasn't pain. Still a lot of pain, just so slightly less than yesterday. So I have the light on to tell you this today because it was better than yesterday. My main problem is that every time I go to stand up or move or do anything, that involves using my muscles in that leg at all, which includes just holding my foot off the floor in order to use my crutches. My whole entire leg starts muscle spasming. My cat just jumped on the bed. And that is very painful. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello, Shadow. Ow. Uh, he's about to knock something off. Ignore him. So my whole entire leg starts muscle spasming, and this includes my foot in my cast, like, trying to fight its way out for survival. I don't really know. Very, very, very painful. And I thought I learned yesterday, and I thought I had figured out what caused it. Uh, I did not, because it continued today. But I managed to not let it happen until, like, way later in the day, so that was good. I call that a win. But... As long as I'm still and I don't do anything, it's manageable. It's not super bad. So make sure, don't have high expectations if you're having brostrum surgery. Like, you're going to be out of commission for a while. I was expecting to be good in a couple days. Uh, that's not the case. My cat is ruining all my stuff. So... Anyways, but today is a better day. Today is a good day. And we love to see it. Shadow, stop. I'm staring at my backpack. So, I guess that's my update for today. I'll update y'all again tomorrow. And I am taking my medicine regularly every six hours. Advil in between. In case you were curious. I think I mentioned something about it earlier. But I don't remember. So, I am doing that. I'm keeping it to a schedule so it doesn't get too unbearable. And then I'm thinking starting next week, I might try and back off more. We'll see how it goes. So, day four update. And this is the end of day five. Sorry, 
it's always the end of the day, but I actually did have some stuff going on. I had my pawpaw come visit me, and my boyfriend came and visit me. So, lots of excitement. So, yeah, obviously. Uh, I still just sat the whole day and did nothing but be in pain. But, you know, I will say today was a much better day. We're seeing improvement. I only had one really bad muscle spasm. Don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. Anyways. Um, or we're little wins, but only one really bad win. And the days before that, would just say there was a bunch. There's a bunch. But today there's only one. We're reaching the finish line. Maybe. Not a finish line, but getting over the first hurdle. So, today was a better day, anyways. I did feel like I had to pass out for a second, but I don't think it was related. I think I just didn't drink as much water today. But yes, day five is five stars. It's going good. We love day five. Hey guys, again, I'm updating you at the end of the day, but it is only 9.30. Past videos have been done at like midnight. So I call that improvement. Yeah. So I decided last minute I am going to go to school tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. I only go to school from 9.45 to 11.45, which is pretty nice. It's not that long, but I'm still kind of worried because I can barely crutch from my room to the couch. And, you know school is a lot bigger than my room to the couch so we decided to use a wheelchair for school for a while until I'm feeling better and more mobile but overall today was better each day is getting a little better now uh I did have one muscle spasm it wasn't as bad as the one I had yesterday so we're getting past this little bump in the road and I'm all for it so excited um so yeah every day is getting better uh it's gotten to the point where like my whole leg is not hurting all the time anymore it's like certain spots on my ankle are hurting like probably where they anchored into my bone it's probably what's hurting so bad but it's not like my whole leg anymore, which is nice. So, this is day six, right? Yeah. Day six is, uh, I'm giving it three and a half stars. Uh, compared to the zero stars from like day four, three. I don't know. I can't keep count. It feels like this week has lasted five years. Um, I have a test on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. At, for college I take college classes at a campus nearby concurrent credit and so yeah I'm not really excited for that yeah I finished all my schoolwork today from the week since I didn't go to school and uh, tomorrow's gonna be an adventure we'll see how it goes forgot to make an update for day seven um today was long and tiring i went to school i only go to school for two hours so it's not like it was a big deal but i went to school i was in i i borrowed my mom's church's wheelchair because i cannot crutch for very long without being in a lot of pain so it was a success i also went to my mama's house and i did a little bit of sewing with my foot not up which was a big deal and i'm also got a job interview today and for friday so hopefully i can go to that but yeah today was tiring and hard but it was good and i got through it and I'm not in an unbearable amount of pain. So, I think, I think I'm getting there. I'm happy with how this is going. So, if 
you're in my situation, just know in a week, things are going to look a lot better. Even though it doesn't seem like that the first four days, oh, I promise it gets better. It gets better. One week post-op. Everything you need to know about one, the first week. So I was very naive on how painful it would be. I'm, I was under the impression that, oh yeah, it's gonna hurt, whatever. I'm just gonna do what I want anyways. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, no, honey. Uh, if you're getting this surgery done, uh, don't schedule anything for like at least two weeks, probably three. Like you're not gonna be able to do anything like very few things i did not leave my bed until like friday I, t I didn't take a shower till friday like i literally could not do anything and so yeah if you're getting the surgery don't schedule anything don't have anything planned you're not gonna do anything uh trust me on that so the most painful thing is when your foot is hanging down like, you are going to want your foot up, elevated, at all times. Foot hanging down, very painful. Like, that's the worst part, is standing up and, like, moving. Like, if you're just sitting in one position, it's bearable. But the moving, is it's painful. I'm going to tell you. Uh, any movement to, like, the right or left, if my foot would tilt while I was sitting, very painful. Like, no, ma'am, not happening. Um, uh, it feels best. Uh, this is going to sound weird, but in the splint, particularly the cast is not as bad, but in the splint, it felt better when I was holding my leg up above my head because I didn't have like all the weight of the cast on my ankle. Like the pressure was off. So I would do that a lot. Uh, I don't think that will help anybody. It's just a fact. I'm reading off a list if you're wondering why I keep looking down. I wrote a list of things. Uh, okay. We're gonna get into my bestie named muscle spasms. Muscle spasms are the bane of my existence. Um, I really thought I was gonna die there for a second. Like, it was so bad. So, I had a hard time, like, relaxing, especially in the splint. It was really hard to relax because... When I would relax, it would move where my ankle was sitting and it would hurt. So it would always be super tense. Which is just like fine in most circumstances. But whenever I'm getting up to move, I would be so tense and my leg would start spasming in the cast. Like my whole leg would be jerking. And I couldn't stop. It was the most painful thing. Like the most painful part was the muscle spasms. Um, like... I have written down here in all caps, horrifyingly painful, so you can see how I was feeling when I wrote that. Um, it stopped a few days after one week, but really a few days before one week they stopped being as intense, so it really wasn't bad, it was just uncomfortable. So I'd say the first five days muscle spasms are a killer. And that might not be for everyone, that might just be a me thing, because my nurse was seemingly very surprised that that was bothering me so much. Because we did call her, because I thought I was dying. Uh, so, you know, maybe if you're lucky, that's not you. Like, maybe you know how to relax and be chill. Uh, not me. Substitute Advil between pain meds. I want to put this out there. I, like, take pain meds as soon as often as you can, like, the first week... You need them. You need them. Don't be scared of running out because by the 10th day, it's not as bad. But after like the first mm, two days, probably, because you really need like every four hours, you need that medicine. Um, But after like the first two days, start substituting Advil between your pain meds, okay? Um, I didn't do that because I was like, um, well, I'm going to just wait like the six hours and take my strong pain medicine so I wouldn't be in pain, you know, because Advil obviously doesn't help as much as the pain medicine. So I was like, no, I'm not waiting an extra two hours, like, especially if I was in a lot of pain and I like, might take it at the four hour mark, but I try to wait till six. I am so sorry. The quality is just going to have to go down 
a lot because my phone storage is full and we love that and I tried every like I went through and deleted so many things like way more things than I just recorded on my phone but my phone was still like mm, sis your storage is full so we're recording on my iPad now I apologize for that so as I was saying substitute Advil between pain medicine okay and I I don't I thought it was crazy too because I'm like I'm gonna wait and take my stronger medicine sooner instead of like waiting another two hour gap because you know you have to have at least two hours between the Advil and pain medicine but trust me I wouldn't do it at first but like the Advil in between made like it's so much better I don't know why. I don't know why it works. I could. I was under the impression Advil didn't really help that much. I was wrong. Uh, Advil is an amazing thing, and you should use it. So, next thing I have on here. Okay, so I have many forms of transportation, as I call it. I have my crutches, a knee scooter, and a wheelchair. A Borrowed knee scooter, borrowed wheelchair. Knee scooter is definitely, like, not top of the line. Uh, we replaced the wheels and everything. It's just, like, too tall for my legs, which is the main problem. It works fine. Um, but any that was not the point of why I was saying that. Um, it seems excessive, but any and all forms have helped me so much. Because, first of all, you're not going to get around your house and be able to carry things. That's what the knee scooter is for. Um, crutches are really just the best option. Like, it's the fastest way to get somewhere. That's a short distance. Like, from my room to the bathroom, that's really all I did for, like, the first week. Um, so, crutches is definitely the best option for that. Um, and also, I use a knee scooter to, like, prop my foot up when I was, like, taking showers and things. And the wheelchair was good for when you go out. Like, I was using the wheelchair at school. I missed a whole week, and then I went back to school on Monday. Um, wheelchair was such a win, okay? Like, I wouldn't have made it through the day without the wheelchair. And I'm only at school for two hours. If you have to go to school longer than that, I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, you're not going to be able to do it. <laughs> well, you might be stronger than I am. I would not have been able to do it sorry if this is shaking again the ipad not the best quality but you know we're here for it we love it and then again i wrote like don't plan anything because you're not going to want to do anything if you absolutely have to do something in public i would get a wheelchair to borrow a wheelchair at least um so he t made it a very strong point that my heel was gonna hurt and that I was gonna have a bone bruise on my heel if I put pressure on it all the time. So I made it a point to like hang my heel off of things, like not set my, like I'll put the cushion under my heel like here instead of having it here, you know? And my heel really didn't hurt the first week at all. So I, either was doing something right like that was beneficial or I'm just built different you know it can be either one next thing you need a pillow wedge like absolutely everyone you need a pillow wedge because if my foot was not elevated as much as it was I would have been in so much more pain because I it was so painful when it was not elevated and it's so much easier to elevate your foot when you have a wedge. Like, you can put that in the car. You can put it on your bed. You can put it in a chair. Like, you can do anything you want with this wedge. Get one. Uh, I'll try and link that in bio. But I'm not going to promise anything because I said that last video and I forgot. So, hopefully it's there. And I learned my lesson. Uh, keep it iced all the time. Like, always have ice on it at all times. You don't really feel it. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to feel it at all for a while. Like, eventually I could feel it, but maybe, like, the end of the week I could kind of feel it. 
And by the end of the week, I mean like the next Tuesday. I don't mean like Friday. It was like seven days. I should say seven days. But yeah, you're not going to feel it. But trust me, it helps. Like, and they even told me that. They're like, look, you're not going to feel the ice. But you need to ice it either way. So, get a pillow wedge. Put ice on it all the time. The nerve block. You need to be prepared for this, okay? Uh, they gave me loopy medicine right before I got the nerve block, so I don't actually remember any of it happening. Uh, but my mom has very horrifying memories of watching it happen. Because I'm a baby and I wanted my mommy back there before I got surgery. Apparently, I did a lot of screaming and, like, wiggling. And I was acting very weird, which I like to blame on the loopy meds they gave me so I'd forget it. But I don't know if that's how that medicine works. I'm just going to blame it on that because apparently I was being crazy. And it, and it's no joke. Like, you do not feel your lick. Like, if you, I thought it was crazy. I would touch my, like, thigh or my knee. Nothing. Couldn't even tell that I was touching it. Like, no sensation on my skin. Like, my nerves literally, even now, like, again, I'm recording this two weeks later. But, like, I still, it's still not the same. Like, it's not all back yet. Around my knee, upper calf area, I still can't, like, it still feels slightly numb. Like, it's really no joke. But it makes the first day amazing. Like, I even, I was like, oh, I'm in pain the first day. No. I was in heaven the first day. I didn't, I took it for granted. Don't take the first day for granted. The nerve block is saving you so much you don't even know. I would say I didn't really start. It would slowly go away. So like each day I could feel like part of my thigh. A little bit more of my thigh. Oh, I can feel the top of my knee. And then once it got below my knee, it went a lot slower. Like, and it's still not all the way back. But that's my experience with the nerve block. I was not expecting that. Nausea. This is my next thing I want to talk about. Do not take the pain medicine on an empty stomach. You will regret it. Like, they give you nausea medicine and pain medicine. At least they did for me. I'm pretty sure that's standard, so we're just going to assume it is. Nausea is no joke. Like, I would wake up in the morning and, like... It was a race. Like, I was like, I had to jump up, like, get my crutches, crutch as fast as I could so I didn't throw up in my bed. And then my foot hurt after that because I, like, stood up so fast. But it, it like, there was no choice. I was going to throw up. Take the nausea medicine. Take it. It helps. It takes, like, a few minutes to kick in. It's amazing. Take the nausea medicine. And But most importantly, eat before you take the pain medicine and then it's not as bad but the first time you get in a car after because personally I did not get in a car until like Monday and my surgery is on Tuesday so it was like the sixth day uh I got really nauseous in the car so I suggest taking it if you're gonna be getting in a car and I just want to say being helpless is hard and when I say helpless, I mean helpless because I am not one to be helpless and not like let other people do things for me. I'm very independent. So it was very hard for me to be like, mm, I cannot get up and get myself food. I cannot get up and go to the bathroom and lock the door with complete confidence that I wasn't going to fall over and hurt myself. Like I needed constant supervision like all the time. And I was not prepared for that because I was ready to be like, oh, I'm going to get the surgery. It's going to be fine. I'm going to be rocking it the next, like, after three days, <laughs> I'll be good. You know, that's what I thought. No, like, they mess with your bones. If they mess with your bones, like, ugh, it's painful, okay? You're going to be helpless and you're not going to want to do anything. You're going to be, like, a dead person, okay? You get that? I just want to really enforce that. I'm not trying to scare people, but, like, I was not prepared mentally because, like I said, the girl that I watched, I will try to remember to link her because her videos are actually really helpful. Um, 
she was like a warrior trooper okay i thought like i really thought like it was not gonna be that hard because she was killing it on the whole recovery thing i don't know how she did that but like i'm amazed by you you're amazing not that she's ever gonna see this so bathroom shower routines this is probably the hardest part for me because I wanted to take a shower by myself. And as much as I don't want to admit this, my mom had to help me the first few times that I took a shower. Not gonna lie. I literally, I couldn't do it. So what I would do, I have a shower chair. It's like a big one. And I, I have like a tub shower. You know, like there's a tub and a sliding glass door. So we open the glass door to like one side and we put the shower chair, like half of it in it and half of it was outside of the shower. And then I would have my knee scooter right next to that with the towel on it to put my foot on. So I would just scoot back to like the back of the shower and have my legs straight out like across the chair onto the knee scooter. And yeah, that's how I shower. And then I also had, a I would get a trash bag because I'm too like cheap to go buy cast covers and I'm broke uh so I would get a trash bag you know put it over my foot and tie it here and then I would take athletic tape and wrap it around that like onto my skin to like make sure water couldn't get into the bag I got that from her video her videos down there so she has a much better way of doing it and it was like it was way better than my way but I'm too lazy to do all that, honestly. So that's why I didn't do it. You know, it works if your leg is not in the shower. Because, like I said, I had mine out, like, outside of the shower while I was, like, facing this way. It was, like, out like this. If your leg is inside of the shower, don't do what I did. Because it's not going to keep water out like that. And then I put a reminder on here. Reminder to tag her in the comments. Not in the comments. What am I... The description? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I'm totally a YouTuber, guys. I know what I'm talking about. And I have one last thing to say that I really wasn't going to say. I didn't want to say this. But it's important information to know. And she said it in her video. So I'm... I, I just have to say it. So, warning right now. You probably don't want to hear what I'm about to say. Uh, the constipation is real, okay? Like... You're not going to poop for, like, days. And that's a brutal, honest truth. Stool softeners, your best friend. Like, my doctor, like, specifically told me to take them. And I really didn't think it would be a big deal. I wasn't expecting it to be a big deal. It was a big deal. So, just putting that out there in, into the world, it's a big deal. And, yeah, it's hard. So, anyways, that was my one week post brostrum surgery. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if I am. Update. And I'm about to film the second week also because, like I said, it's been two weeks and two days. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can get it out to you guys. And I hope this was helpful. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.